devil. Hallelujah. He's here. He, that's right. That's right. And he's going to be here until Jesus cast him into hell. That's right. One thing the devil said, he said, if I can beat God. He spoke out. He said, if I can beat God. I say, even you know better. You can't. He said, I wish I could. Mm. <laughs> speak in truth and speak lie. And lie. You see, you can't be afraid of them. And if you never dealt with such a thing, you would be scared. That's right. That's right. I have no fear for Satan. Amen. He's a warrior. So am I. He's a fighter. So am I. Hallelujah. Oh, and say, well, you're a mortal man. That's right. That's right. With God's backing. That's right. That's right. That's right. God said to the church, to the believers, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Not prevail. So my faith in God causes me to come back to the, to the crime scene. That's right. That's my right. faith made me come back to the crime scene. That's right. Over and over and over again. Amen. Glory to God and keep fighting again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome to the inhabitants of the earth and the... Whoa! Whoa. To the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea. And of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. What? The devil is come down unto you. Why you think religion? Satan have castrated the pool pits of churches. That's right. He have castrated religion. That's right. And use money to lynch. These false prophets that's dangling by the rope of prosperity. That's right. No Holy Ghost. No God. No belief in scriptures. That's right. Many of God's people have deserted him. That's right. For smoother things. That's right. They have bargained. Oh yeah. See, they have beaten them down with their own problems. That's true. And you are beat down with your own mess so much. Satan got you buried under it. You can't even raise your head and That's talk true. to God and believe the one you're talking to. That's right. That's right. Church people got to arm yourselves. That's it. Arm yourselves. Satan feeds off confusion. That's right. Satan feeds off hatred. Yeah. Satan feeds oh, yes. off frustration. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Ask yourself, are you feeding Satan's appetite? To your own unbelief that you have towards God. Are you feeding Satan's appetite? That's right. The Satan draw strength. From your weakness. My Lord. Your thoughts and your heart and your actions help empower him as he have temporary lease in his domain. That's right. Rid yourself Go ahead. of your confusion towards each other. That's your it. hatred towards each other. Your jealousy towards each other. That's your right. accusation towards each other. That's right. In order to combat Satan as a people, just like on the day of Pentecost, there was on one accord. One accord. You got to be on one accord to fight Satan. That's right. That's right. We are praying for the liberation of a soul. Yeah. And the room is packed. Nobody can afford to be in that room to have unbelief. No. no. Well, we're not spared. I don't care how scared you are. That's right. That's Believe right. God in the midst of your fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. If you're scared of what you're looking at, close your eyes and talk to God at the same time. Hallelujah. 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 Satan is mad at the truth of God. Hallelujah. Because we won't sell out. We won't change our Bible stand. God is prospering the church around the world. And more importantly, the truth is being preached. That's it. All of this is not going to happen without Satan declaring war on you. That's right. That's right. So as the church, you got to stay in the trenches. That's it. Turn your plate down. That's it. Stop eating so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop watching so much televised trash. Hallelujah. Your soul is dying. Go ahead. And Satan is right there. Yeah. He's your back catcher. Yeah. Waiting to catch it. Waiting to catch it. Are you listening? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Give chapter and verse again. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Woe! Hallelujah. To, to the inhabitants of the earth. Unto the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea. And of the sea. For the devil has come down the unto you. The devil has come down unto you. Having great wrath. What? Having great wrath. That's what he kept saying to me upstairs. Yes. I hate you. Mm. I can't stand you. My Lord. I hate you. My Lord. Great wrath. This world is mine. Hmm. I hate God. My Lord. I told him in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I hate that name. I said, you're a liar. He said, you're a liar. Mm. I told the devil, me and you can have it out all day, word for word, but you ain't going to win here. No! Preach it. Oh, no! Mm. Are you listening? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. I'm glad heaven made me a warrior. That's what he did. It ain't no Hollywood act. That's what he did. No one hired to act like Satan. No. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No. I was on my way down here, hmm. and they knocking on my door. Open the door, right in, right in my face, yelling, cussing. My Lord. I said, "Come on in here." That's right. Thank you. Devil walked in with confidence. Cussing me out. Lord. I was fixing my necktie. I asked him, you ready to fight? He said, I've been ready for you. Lord. Hmm. Lord, have mercy. Fighting spirits ain't like fighting nothing, nothing under the sun. No. No. So as you can see, my job is never over. And it's exhausting. Yes, it is. Praying for God's people continuously, and some of you won't even pray for yourselves. That's right. That's true. Nobody can say, we are in this together, and yet you won't do what it takes to be in this together. together. That's why I understand the feelings of Paul. Paul looked at the church and Paul said, All for Sukkot. All for Sukkot. No he said, Ain't stood nobody stand with me. No man stood with me. He said, No man stood with me. No man. He said, But God stood with me, that by me the preaching might be fully known. That's it. Who in the world wants to lead people and then feel as though nobody's standing with them? That's right. We don't preach fasting and praying because it's a biblical subject. No. It's something you got to do. That's right. That's right. Satan is called the prince of the power, power of the air. Give me, I believe, second chapter of the book of Ephesians. In the book of second, in Ephesians chapter two, and we'll start at verse one. Follow it. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. You. You. Have God revived. Who were dead. Who were dead. In trespasses and sins. 
in trespass and in sin. Wherein? Time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. Why is Satan called the prince of the power of the air? Of the air. air represent the variations of how spirit travel and maneuver. That's right. Prince of the power of the air, ruler of the evil spirits that exist. That's right. A prince is a ruler. That's right. Power of the air. And where does this work at? The where, where, where does this power of the air work? The spirit. Wait a minute. The spirit. What, read the whole verse there. Where in time passed, you walked according to the course of this world. And what, according to the Wait a minute. Prince. You walk according to the conduct, which is the course of this world. And who did you walk according to? According to the prince. According to the prince. Of the power of the air. According to the moving of the spirits uh -huh. of Satan. Where does these spirits work? The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Right now. That's right. Now worketh. Obedience is a spiritual defense mechanism. That's right. That's right. Against Satan. Against him. Disobedience make it more convenient for Satan to lodge, not only lodge in your being, but to take over That's your right. being. That's right. That's right. It's like a person seeking the Holy Ghost and wonder why they don't have it. It is because some areas of your life you're disobedient. Yeah. Because the Lord made it plain, He gave the Holy Ghost to those that obey Him. So those who disobey him is still waiting. You just can't wait and tarry, which means to wait, but you got to wait obey. And, obey. and obey. Obey while you wait. That's it. And then he give the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. That obey him. Are you listening? Where in time pass, you walked according to the course of this world. Who is it go? Amen. Where in time pass? You walked according, you to, walked the course according of this world. to the direction of this world. According, according to, the to the prince of the power, of the, power of, the of the air. The spirit. The spirit that now, that now worketh, right now, now worketh in the children of disobedience. It's working right now. That's right. Now worketh. And everybody that's disobedient, mm. the prince of the power of the air is working in you. That's right. So therefore, he crushed your defense. Yeah. The moment you fast and pray and fast and pray, that's your shell. Like in the hood, you get in your shell. That's right. When you fast and pray and obey, that's your shell. The moment you disobedient, that's a crack in your shell. That's right. Go ahead. Come on, Jay. Let me describe what God designed. Yes. For our protection. Are you listening to me this afternoon? Oh, yeah. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6. And we'll start at verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6 begin at the 10th verse. Finally. I want to itemize to you what God designed. Right. To protect all the members of your body. That's right. Not only did he design it. But he wanted to dress you up in it. Come on, Jim. But he will not force upon you. What he's about to itemize. That's right. Listen closely. Ephesians chapter 6 and we're at verse 10. What is it? Finally, my brethren. Finally, the conclusion. My brethren. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be weak in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be weak in him. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong. So I'm going to say that I'm weak. The Bible said let the weak say I'm strong. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Finally, my brethren. When everything is over. Be strong in the Lord. And what? And in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of what? Of his might. Not yours. That's right. Not by your might. No. No, no. But by his spirit, saith the Lord. That's right. Not by your power, not by your might, but by God's spirit. That's 
church, right? Amen. Last week, we were dealing with the devil and the sister possessed, eyes bulged and growling. My Lord. Growling and snapping the teeth at me like a dog trying to bite me. That's Today, devil talk, calling out, talking out, cussing, yes. calling me by name. That's something. Telling me, I know you. That's something. Now let me know that the gospel is hurting this kingdom pretty good. That's right. Yes. That's right. Glory to God. Finally, my brethren. Finally. Be strong in the Lord. My brother. Finally, church. Finally. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. What we got to do? Put on the whole armor of God. Now, it ain't no need for armor. If there's no war, that's right. The purpose of armor that's it is because there's war. Nice, nice. That's right. You going into battle without volunteering. That's right. Come on, Jake. Come on. Come on. In other words, the moment you made up in your mind you're gonna serve God, yeah. you've been drafted. That's right. When you're a backslider, use a draft dodger. That's right. That's true. Amen. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. Amen. Listen at this. Put on the whole armor of God. Get dressed up. That's right. Because every part of self must be protected from your head to your feet. That's Amen. Right. Hold on. Because all the elements of self are vulnerable not only to be attacked by Satan but to be taken over by Satan. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? What did he say? Put on the whole armor of God. Get the whole thing on. That's right. For what reason? That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What is the purpose of getting dressed up with this armor? That ye may be able to stand. Stand against what? Against the wiles. No, against the softness. Against the wiles. The compassion. Against the wiles of the devil. It's talking about Satan's aggressiveness. Yes, yes. Devil. Against Satan's aggression. Yeah. Yes. Are you listening? Oh, Amen. Yes. You can pick up a spirit mm. from another person That's right. that transform you and shift your whole character. That's right. That's true. Now you're cussing people out. Yeah. Yeah. And then you say, "That's not me." Then ask yourself, "Who is it? And what is it? What is it?" Why your spiritual defense is not strong enough? Yes. That something got in you and rearranged your whole vocabulary. That's right. That's right. You're not violent, but now you are. Yeah. Look at the thoughts of violence that you wish to afflict. And yet you never thought this way. That's true. What spirit are you of? That's right. Have you ever asked yourself such? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Go ahead. Listen. Put on the whole armor of God. A lot of us don't have all the armor on. All of us. Some of us put certain pieces on, but we didn't strap it. <laughs> that's right. It's not secure, and that's why Satan can get right up under it and knock it off. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You just can't put it on. You got to fasten it. That's right. You, 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 your armor got to be steadfast, attached to you. That's right. Listen, don't just look at it as your physical body. Also look at it from another description. Your temple. Temple. And the purpose of the armor is to protect your house. That's it. From an invader. That's Satan right. is an invader. Oh, yeah. Go 
And I find myself fighting this invader on all fronts. Mm. Yes. Amen. Throughout America. In house, out of house, in church, out of church. My Lord. All fronts. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. I see why Paul said all the cares of all, all the, the churches. churches. Was upon him. That's right. So we're to God we're fighting on all fronts. All fronts. Why some ain't doing nothing. <laughs> That's true. But whining and complaining. That's true. Yeah. I ain't lifting a finger to fight Satan. No. That's true. Do you hear this? Put on the whole armor of God. Put it on. Amen. Why? That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The purpose of putting on all this armor is for what reason? That ye may be able to stand. To fall. To stand. To give up. To stand. To surrender. To stand. To stand against what? Against the, the wiles, wiles of the devil. He's a wild thing. That's right. That's right. Come on, Jay. Hold that. Fifth chapter of Mark, the Holy Ghost brought to mind. Mm, amen. I want to show you Bible that demonstrates how Satan is a wild thing. Yeah. How he can take a calm atmosphere and peaceful. Yeah. But when he get in it, he shift the whole climate. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. St. Mark chapter 5 and we'll start at verse 1. Get a chapter and verse again. St. Mark. Chapter 5, and we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. Yes. And when he was come out of the ship immediately. When Jesus came out of the ship right away. They met him out they of the tomb. They met him out of the tomb. A man. A man. With an unclean spirit. With an unclean spirit. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. And what? And no man can bind him. No, not. Wait. Look at the strength he had. He was wild. That's right. No man, no man could bind could him. Could tie him down. No, not with chains. You can't do it with chains because that he had been often bound with feathers. He was and often chains. bound with feathers and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Not by the natural man, no. but by the power of Satan that exists in him. That's it. That's, that's right. So Satan made him violent. Yeah. Are you listening to this lesson? Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. Often he often. was bound. With fetters and chains. With feathers. Chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. You know the devil, you look at your everyday problems or things you face with, have you ever thought that Satan keep your mind busy on those things? Yes. Because he know if he can keep your mind preoccupied, his intelligence know that it is a convenient distraction. And as a convenient distraction, you're so focused on this, that, and the other thing, right. you're too blind to even think of him. That's true. Wow, gee, that's beautiful. And when you don't think of him, that's true. who prepares themselves for war but those that think of war? That's right. I cannot prepare myself for Satan if I'm not even thinking about him. That's right. Or if I think about him so lightly as a fleeting thought. Yeah. How can you think about your enemy Preaching. as a fleeting thought? The Bible says your adversary, yeah. the devil, the devil. seeketh whom he may devour. It says your adversary, the, adversary. the devil, That's right. walketh about as a roaring lion, as a roaring lion. seeking whom he may devour. He was roaring at me upstairs. Yeah. When I start praying, Wrong. start yelling. Ah! That's something. I say, your yelling don't scare me. That's, That's something. Right. That's something. Yelled again. Ah! I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, you think that scared me? Hmm. And the devil stood up and in the brother and looked at me. He said, I'm going to kill you, Gino. Come on, Jay. Oh, I hate you. I'm going to kill you. My Lord. I said, then show me what you got. Mm. Come out of him and take me over. Mm. He said, I want you. I said, come out of him and then take me over. If you're so strong My Lord. and got so much confidence, come out of him. Yeah! Come on. 
Take me over. My Lord. Even the spirit said out of him. God got you hedged in. What? Spirit said out of him. God got you hedged in. Lord. I said I know it. My Lord. That's why I tell you to come on. My Lord. We're not preaching for fun. We serve a real God. That's right. Go ahead, man. I believe what's written here. Believe a lot of us look at the Bible as a storybook. Right. This is all legitimate. One should to call it infallible proofs. Infallible proofs. I believe everything that's in here. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. What of God says what? Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And what? And the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Come on, son. Neither could any man tame him. No man can tame him. And Do all you see how mm -hmm. Satan makes you an animal? Yeah. That's right. Yes. Regardless of your background, regardless of how peaceful you have been, uh -huh. when Satan enter in, this book of scripture says... Chokes the word. Choke the word. When the lust of other things enter and the rim, cares of this world, which is the power of Satan. That's right. Be quick. Mark four and verse nineteen. The cares of this world. And the deceitfulness of riches. And the trickery of wealth. And the lust of other and things the desire entering for in. Other, all of this is designed to distract you from God. What does it do to you? Choke the word. Wait a minute. When these things come, where is it located? Choke up. Where is it located? Entering in. There you go. That's it. It comes in, and what does it do when it get in there? Choke the word. And as a result, how do we become? And it becometh unfruitful. That means the very word that's in you don't do no good to you. Right. You are fertile ground. Yeah. The seed is being dropped. Yeah. That's true. But nothing is sprouting in you. No. That's right. You're in the same stage year in and year out. That's right. That's because true. the word is choke. Choke. And therefore, the book says you become unfruitful. That's right. Fifth chapter of the book of Mark. Go back. Back in Mark chapter 5, we're at verse 5. Come on, sir. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. Crying? Satan make you do harm to yourself. Yeah. That's right. That's why many of you now think of suicide. That's right. That's right. Satan wants you abused. Yeah. Yourself. That's right. Because the devil knows if you take your life, you're lost. lost. Yeah. You can't be saved. That's right. Because the word of God said, Thou should not kill, that including killing yourself. That's yeah. right. That's right. You can't look at that commandment as someone taking the life of another. No. Right. You gotta apply that commandment first to yourself. That's right. That's right. And then look at the others. Yeah. Yeah, my God. And always night and day, he was in the mountains. Wait, wait, wait. Always. How relentless is Satan? Always. Night and How day. How relentless. And always. Glory to God is Satan. Always. How often? Always. What? Night and day. Take your sleep away. Mm. Or come in your dream while you sleep, you wake up mad. That's true. That's true. Cussing out your children, cussing out your husband, cussing out your wife. Because the devil knows what to preoccupy your mind and your heart with. That's right. So you keep that in front of you, keep that in front of you, and then suppress you down. Right. That's right. Can't even think clear. No. What have you become? A nest for Satan to dwell in. My Lord. And you don't even realize you become Satan's pocketbook. Mm. Your body. Hallelujah. You're just carrying around satanic trash. My Lord. Until you ain't even fit to pray for yourself. You're not fit to pray for no one else. That's right. Are you listening to me? And always. How often? Always. How often? Always. Night and day. Amen. Night and day. He was in the mountains and in the tombs. In the mountains and the tombs. Crying and cutting crying. himself with stones. That lets you know he has self-awareness. Yeah. Even though the devil took him over, he knew what was going on. That's right. He was crying. Crying. 
He didn't want to hurt himself. That's right. He was crying. Crying and cutting himself with stones. I would ask the brother, you believe God? He said, I believe, Pastor Jim, I believe God with all my heart. And then the devil would swish up and talk out of him. No, you don't. Mm. What? But talking to him and the spirit was in him. My Lord. He said, I'm going to take, take him over. I said, brother, do you hear that? He said, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I said, keep fighting. Keep resisting. Mm. He said, I'm going to fight. I'm going to resist. And then the devil come back again. You can't fight. And you can't resist. My Lord. Nice, Jay. Hallelujah. 